Now we'll see how to carry out mesh analysis for circuits which have a current control voltage source. What I've done is I've taken the same circuit as before, but replaced the second voltage source by a current control voltage source Rm times Ix and Ix is this current. Okay. Now clearly this uh, control voltage source is in the second mesh and it's going to affect the equation only for the second mesh. Okay. So, for the first mesh, the equation is the same as what we had earlier, that is I 1 times R 1 1 plus R 1 2 plus R 1 3 minus I 2 times R 1 2 minus I 3 times R 1 3 equals V 1. Okay. Now, for the second mesh, the independent voltage source in the second mesh is 0. So, on the right hand side we will just have 0. On the left hand side, if I ignore the control source, okay, I will have I 2 times R 1 2 plus R 2 2 plus R 2 3 minus I 3 times R 2 3. Okay. These are the contributions from the resistors and I will also have I 1 times minus R 1 2. Okay. So, these are the contributions from the uh, resistors in the second mesh. Okay. So, this is what I have, but this is not complete because I have to also additionally take this voltage drop which is R m times I x. Okay. So, on the left hand side I will have plus R m times I x. Now, I x I do not want to use another variable here. I know that this I x here in this branch equals I 1 minus I 3. Okay. So, instead of I x we have I x to be I 1 minus I 1 minus I 3. So, we will have plus R m times I 1 minus I 3. So, if I rearrange it while grouping the current variables, I have I 1 minus R 1 2 plus R m plus I 2 times R 1 2 plus R 2 2 plus R 2 3 uh, minus I 3 times R 2 3 plus R m. Okay. So, this is what I will have and you see that this R m because I x is here and I x equals I 1 minus I 3, R m adds to the coefficient of I 1 and subtracts from the coefficient of I 3. Okay. And for mesh number 3, nothing has changed. I just have I 1 or 1 3 minus I 2 R 2 3 plus I 3 times R 1 3 plus R 2 3 plus R 3 3 to be equal to 0. Okay. So, if I put this in matrix form, I will have R 1 1 plus R 1 2 plus R 1 3 minus R 1 2 minus R 1 3. Here, I will have minus R 1 2 plus R m which is the contribution of the current controlled voltage source. Then R 1 2 plus R 2 2 plus R 2 3 and minus R 2 3 minus R m. Okay and the third one is the same as before minus r 1 3 minus r 2 3 r 1 3 plus r 2 3 plus r 3 3 i 1 i 2 and i 3 okay and this whole thing equals v 1 0 0 
So, these are the mesh analysis equations and this is analogous to the case of uh, nodal analysis with a voltage controlled current source. Okay. What we have here is mesh analysis with a current controlled voltage source and that is analogous to nodal analysis with a voltage controlled voltage source. You can write the three node equations. Now, the matrix becomes asymmetric. As you can see, this element is not equal to that element. Okay. 